Mm-hmm. We start? Mm-hmm. We start. Oh, okay. Well, Gary, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Whoa! Oh, hey! I didn't see you there, Kaylee. How are you doing? It's so, so the Word Man, friend of a friend game show. Okay, we have people here. Say hello, everybody. We have people here. Woo! Hello, hello everybody. everybody. See, we got pe- He's not going to say hi. Okay, that's cool. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah. We're here at Anyone Comics, and this is the Word Man, friend of a friend game show. So to explain to our audience what the Word Man, friend of a friend game show is, it's very simple. I have a bag of stuff here for my friend, our friend, Kaylee Jerome Skelp, Maven of the Mandolin. Quick question, by the way, for the crowd. Do you know why we call her Maven of the Mandolin? Because the name Bitch with the Bassoon was already taken. Oh! I love that joke. It never gets old. Babe with the Bassoon. No, Bitch with the Bassoon. It's totally where the humor is. Anyway, Kaylee's not here for her bag of stuff, but our friend of a friend, Ainsley, is. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask Ainsley a question. Ainsley gets the question right. Kaylee, you get the bag of stuff. Ainsley gets the question wrong. I get the bag of stuff. And Ainsley has promised to give me both of her cats. Fun. I did? I didn't even know you were here 30 seconds ago. <laughs> but okay. So, that's the rule. However, you can't play unless you know what it is you're playing for. So we're going to show you what we're playing for. So first thing we got you, Kaylee, is a bunch of stamps. Are they forever stamps? Uh, yes, they are. Oh, come on. They give. They no. keep on giving. Yeah. Literally so, forever. Put that back in there, please. Um, so, for those who don't know, Kaylee does um, these little pen pal letters that are just like the most adorable, awesomest thing ever. So it means that she always needs stamps, as she has told me repeatedly. So you should put that right there for now. Yeah. Uh, we got that. We got her a ninja mask, because you're never in, never have too many ninja masks. And it's in the cool one, I think. Uh, what else did we get her? Oh, we got her... A little The Signal Man by Charles Dickens. Okay. Everybody, uh, Ainsley, as you may know, uh, Kaylee is an avid reader. And so she's always in need of something to read on the subway, as we all should be. Always. So this is a perfect subway read. It's an excellent, excellent, excellent ghost story by Charles Dickens. Uh, there's a really good like BBC thing about it as well that, that I highly recommend. But no spoilers. Read it first. No spo- read it first. Yeah, it's really, really good. Though. Really, really good. Uh, we got that in here for you. What else do we have in here for you? We got you. Here's a double gift. So when you're done watching like John Waters movies and like you know whatever, and you want to and you want to watch real cinema, ooh, ooh, shots fired, pow pow, pow pow pow, pow 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 pow. When you're done, you can watch the movie Laura. Excellent movie by Otto Preminger. It's a great noir, a fantastic movie with a great ending. I love it. Also, the reason you're getting noir, the reason you're getting Laura, is because there's a newsletter called The Dark Pages that I actually subscribe to. And they sent me an extra copy of the Dark Pages, and the entire issue is about the movie Laura. So you can now watch the movie and then read all about it. Is this stuff that she asked for? No, no of course not. That's not no. what the Friend of a Friend game show is about. Thank you. So you don't ask for the Friend of a Friend game show. Get the Friend of a Friend game it's show. It's like going to Denny's. It's like nobody <laughs> says, hey, can we go to Denny's? It's like you end up at Denny's. You end up that's a su- on Friend of a Friend game That's a super excellent, excellent <laughs> description. Like, I had not thought of that analysis before. Uh, one thing I always get my friend Kaylee, our friend Kaylee, the Maven of the Mandolin, she plays five different instruments. Concertina, mandolin, guitar, and two other instruments. She's going to yell at me for not knowing which if ones. The bassoon's not on there, I'm going to be really upset. Oh, oh, bassoon. She plays the bassoon. bassoon. Thank you, thank you. And then the fifth instrument, the harmonica. And, uh, but one thing I always like to get her, because I'm told by other musicians, and you can confirm this for me, it's really difficult to find staff paper. I'm told it's a thing that's like super difficult to do. So every time I come across some, I pick some up for Kaylee, and this is the one we got her. Now, as you might see, it's got a really cool sticker on it. Oh, that's sick, actually. The reason we put the cool sticker on is two reasons. One, I've gotten her one with this cover before, so I don't want to, like, how are you going to differentiate between the two? New cover. Exactly. And plus, when your last name is basically Skeleton, you've got to get the skull on it. That's sick. And also, when you put out the new album, Kaylee Jerome Skeleton, now you know what to title it. Denial. See? Because it spells denial. 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 It's like all the album will be in denial. Denny all. Denny all. There you go. In French. <laughs> en français. En français. Speaking of music, um, so Kaylee always makes fun of me for not knowing any real punk music because I grew up listening to hip hop and jazz. In case the jacket didn't give it away. Um, so what I did was, Kay- you'd be very proud of me of this, Kaylee, because I'm very proud of this myself. I went to Academy Records over on 18th Street and. 
my favorite store, other than Anyone Comics, of course. Oh, other yeah. than Anyone Comics. And there's two redheads that work there. One of the redheads that work there is huge into punk music. So I went there and I was like, explain the whole situation about my friend being into punk music. And I don't know what to get her. And she was like, oh, don't worry, I'll take care of this. So this is what she, what I got from her to give to you. Was it me in another timeline? It might have been. <laughs> so we got you an album by The Vibrators. We got you an album by X, Under the Big Bad Sun. And then we got you the best of Eater, all of Eater. And she was really big on Eater. I, now, as you may know, Kaylee, I know nothing about these bands. I don't know who any of them are. But she swore to me they were dope. And then when I mentioned it, when I mentioned it to our friend Etienne, a.k.a. French for Steven, he was like, dude, that freaking rocks, dude. You totally got dope punk music. So you have to let me know if you like it. That way I can tell the, the redhead at Academy Records how good of a job I did. Um, we got you a Toni Morrison double feature. We got you her book, The Last Interview. Yeah, baby. Nice, nice. Yeah. nice. It's a really nice series, by the way, The Last Interview. And then we also got you this really wonderful quote Aww. by uh, Madame Morrison, which reads, if you would like to read that for the class. Your life is already artful, waiting, just waiting for you to make it art. See, that's nice. We love that. That's nice. And it has a lovely little drawing on it yeah. for the triangle, which is one of the best shapes in my opinion. Three sides, can't beat it. Anyway. Never off balance. That's so true. You can't make it you can't make a three legged chair off balance. I am balance. not No, a no, you are des yeah, yeah. I you am are, a square. Yeah, you have a, yeah, we we've discussed that. Yeah. And wouldn't I love to be a triangle? But yeah. anyway. So we got to that. Two more things, then we'll keep going. We got you a, a excerpt here from The White Wolf. Uh, it's an excellent, excellent excerpt from a werewolf novel called The White Wolf. Oh, and it, was, it was also an excuse for me to get rid of some of that lime green paper I have because I have too much lime green paper. We love the lime green paper. And when I see my brother, I'm going to let him know. A really, really excellent excerpt. It's very, very good. Last but not least, and this is my favorite thing. This might be my favorite thing I've ever given to anybody before. Come on, Mary Poppins. Let's go. Here get it out of that bag. <laughs> Look at that. That's amazing. Look at that. Your friend Gary put this together all by himself. That's Tony Morrison said it. Yeah. You made it art. You did. I knew we'd find a way to bring Tony Morrison back in here to yeah. vampires. Uh, yeah, literally found it. It's a whole fun story about how this whole thing came across. It's awesome. But all of that is in the bag for you, uh, Kaylee. All of and I got you a strand bag. So you can remember we used to work at Strand. That's how we met. Bam, got you a strand times. bag. Good days. Uh, Kaylee, all of this is yours if and only if. Ainsley can answer this question right. I am sorry in advance, Kaylee. <laughs> and, and fun fact, I did not tell Ainsley the question ahead of time. See, normally I tell them ahead of time, that way they know what to expect or whatever. So, didn't tell her ahead of time, so you're just going to have to hope that she knows the answer, and that I certainly didn't write it down on a piece of paper that's just slightly out mm. of view. Certainly not. Mm -mm. So, one thing you may know about uh, Ainsley is Ainsley is a world-famous hydrologist. Great stud. We all know Love that about you. Hy hydrology. Yeah. And hydro. Just always studying bodies of water. Always studying bodies hydrants. of water. Hydrants. Yeah. Hydrants. Hydras. Yeah. Exactly. All your hydro whatever needs. Yeah. Well, all of them. Yeah. Well, got it. Now, as we also know, our friend Kaylee is from Oakland, yes. California. That I actually I actually did know. That. Yeah, <laughs> that was the one thing we knew. Yeah. Hashtag Bay all day. She gets mad if I don't say that. That's actually not true. She gets annoyed when I say it all the time. I, I was going to say, I yeah. was like... Strain, st feel like I'm lying when I say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we're going to ask our good friend Ainsley here a question. As our resident hydrologist... Hydrologist? Hydrologist? Hydrologist. Thank you. Hydrologist? <laughs> Hi I know, hydro yeah, yeah, hydrologist. Yeah, hydrologist. Uh, can you, Ainsley, tell us the name of the body of water that is near Oakland? Near Oakland? Near Oakland. Because technically it's not in Oakland because you can't have a body of water in land because then mm. it's no longer a body of water. But if it's if it's not in Oakland, why is it called the Jewel of Oakland? Oh! Why would they call it that if it's not in Oakland? Because it's like so nearby. It's like really like right next to it. So nearby. Yeah. Mm. That's a tough one. Yeah. What, 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 do you have any idea what it might be called? I'm thinking. I'm having a vision. I'm seeing like a... Uh -oh. Like uh -oh. a closed body of water. Yes. It's not a river. No, no, it's not a Is river. Is it a pond? I'm getting some pond vibes. It's not quite a pond. It's a little larger than a pond. More than pond. More than pond. Think bigger than pond. Yeah, but not like an ocean. An ocean is not, it's not really closed. No. Oceans not are sort of like... Fair, valid point. Valid point. 
I guess something only a hydrologist would know. Yeah. yeah. I take pride in my knowledge. <laughs> so it must be a lake. Yes, it's a lake. lake. And the only lake <laughs> in Oakland yes. that I know of, yes. the Jewel of Oakland, jewel some of might Oakland. call it, mm-hmm. is Lake Merritt. Woo! With two T's. Woo! Give her a big hand for getting that right. Big hand for getting that right. You don't have to give her a hand. It's okay. Don't worry. He's like, I'm kind of busy. Dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, he's like, I just want this to be. Slapping right. comments. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so congratulations, Kaylee Jerome Skelton. You are the winner of all this stuff that I don't have to bag back up. You're welcome, Kaylee. On behalf of. And I get to keep my cats. You get to keep your cats. They don't but, get thrown in the lake. No, they don't get thrown in the lake. Nor do they get me as an owner, which I would be a terrible cat owner. It would be like that episode of Spongebob where the Flying Dutchman gets him and then he calls Mr. Krabs the next day and he's like, you gotta take him back. <laughs> Sounds about right. I don't want this. It would be a lot of me calling you at the store just being like, so what do I do? Oh, I have to feed them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'll call you it's back. It's making a noise. Oh, yeah, it would be a lot of that. It would be a lot of that. <laughs> Kaylee, congratulations. I'm seeing you later next, on the 15th, I think. We're going to the IFC to go see the satanic Mexican horror movie. Fuck yeah, you yeah, are. Yeah, I am super hyped. <laughs> I am super hyped about it too. It's called uh, Alucarda. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it's Al- if you're around, you will come with us. Uh, if I'm around, fuck yeah. If uh-huh. I'm not working both my jobs, if I got my new job by then, <laughs> cool Modi. Signing out. We're my Gary Lime. Say goodbye to the good people. Goodbye to the good people. Peace.